Point St. Lucie, my hometown where I grew up, uh, there's a monthly card show that happens, a uh, bunch of sports cards vendors, a bunch of Pokemon vendors. Um, we've been setting up there for a little over a year and a half. Um, so it's a smaller show. Roughly 100 people, 200 people on a good day are expected to show up. So I want to show a little behind the scenes of what kind of stuff I bring to the show. You know, every show is different when it comes to what do we bring for this card show? Do we bring this or that? Uh, since we've done it for over a year, uh, I have a pretty good idea of what, what kind of products sell and what don't. Um, I know exactly how much table space we have. So for this one, we have about 30 feet. Uh, it's just one long uh, table set up. It's about 30 feet of, of, of space. So I can get three uh, display cases where I put slabs and some uh, high-end vintage stuff. Then I have these flat acrylic cases uh, for the singles. Now that's gonna be about eight or nine of them, as many as I can get. And then there's gonna be, I don't know, four feet or so left. Binders, binders, binders. Uh, maybe sealed product if I can dabble it in. It depends, but the binders are pr priority. So we put those out and then I have my POS system at the very end, a little, little, little sliver. Um, so anyways, let's uh, pull some inventory. So the types of stuff I'm gonna be bringing for this show is very little sealed. I'm gonna bring some premium sealed products like Celebrations UPC. That's, you know, I have one of them and they look really good on the table. Um, I have, let's see, we have a Breakthrough Booster Box. That's gonna come. So I'll bring one, one case of booster boxes. So we have an Evolve in Skies box. It's our last one. About the Evolved uh, Temporal Forces, the new stuff. Um, can't hurt. I usually just bring one of each because booster boxes don't really sell. At a show like this, most people want singles ungraded and, you know, $10 or less. Low load up. Uh, binder fillers, set fillers. Now, I do also like to bring some small boxes that I know I can fit on the table. So, like, we have that Hidden Fates collection box. I'm only going to bring, I have three, but I'm only going to bring one, the Arceus box. That's a cool box. I, I have a couple Hidden Fates collection boxes, but we're only going to bring one of each. We want to bring one Raichu. We're going to bring one Gyarados. We just sold the last Charizard boxes. Um, we have this really cool break box. We have four of them, but it's huge. So I'm not going to bring it. Plus, I doubt it'll sell. It's kind of at that weird price point where people aren't going to buy it. Uh, Japanese a little special box. So I will bring a few ETBs. In this case, Evolving Skies right now. Having, it's having a moment. It's gone from $10 a pack to $12 to $15 to $18 to teetering at 20. So our last two ETBs in stock, bring them. It, they, again, it's about making the table look good. Do you have the thing everybody else wants? And do you have it while the other vendors don't? Well, they're gonna come back. You're, you're gonna create repeat customers just by having a, a, a thing. And you're never gonna know what the thing is. That's the key. Not even the key, that's, that's the game we play. You have no idea what the customer wants. And if you have it, great. That customer will likely come back. And if you don't, well, it's not gonna hurt that bad. But you better have something else on the table that they want or they, they like. Otherwise, yeah, you know, eh, eh, that's, yeah, this is them talking, eh, uh, eh, it wasn't that good. You always wanna leave a good impression. At least that's what I think. Um, ETBs, let's see, we have a Champion's Path. I'm only gonna bring the premium stuff again. I'm worried about table space. This show, again, singles is where it's at. I have all my singles already loaded, but I have, I'll have a room in the display case. Uh, these, if you've seen any of our uh, vendor POV videos, we have these, you know, about three inch high metal cases that we put all our high end and slabs in and it protects it so no one can steal it. Um, there's usually a little bit of space. So I'll bring stuff like this. Uh, you know, I have a bunch of vintage booster packs over there. Uh, you know, we have some sealed theme decks. Uh, you know, vintage stuff, Southern Island, sealed Japanese. I mean, you know, cool stuff. Some uh, Pokemon games, like uh, I have, looks like there's a Sapphire in there. Ooh, we have a uh, black version, Sun X and Diamond version. So I'll bring these. And if we bring it and it turns out we don't have table space, don't worry, it's fine. You know, like at least if someone asks, oh yes, I do, it's right here. You know, you have it on hand, know where it's at. That's all important. It's happened plenty of times. You just never know. Some of the cheaper Japanese boxes in this case, I will, I'll bring a little bit of it. So it looks like we have Crimson Haze, uh, Ancient Roar, Raging Surf, uh, Snow Hazard, and what is this? Uh, I forgot the Iron Valley one. Um, anyways, I'll bring, I'm, I'm just gonna bring one of each. It's pretty uh, unoccasional. We, we, What's the word? Unoccasionally. We rarely. We don't sell it very often. 
got to reprice these too. These Japanese boxes have kind of been, uh, mine, we're sinking. I don't know about sinking, they're correcting. They're, they're at a healthy point. I really like the Japanese market at the moment as far as like price point buying in. It's fun to rip, it's cheap. You know, you get booster box for 50, 60 bucks. Uh, that is nice. So as you see, this, this is, as far as sealed goes, this is probably about all I'm gonna bring. Uh, it's almost nothing. Everything else is gonna be singles. We're gonna have nine, nine cases of singles filled to the brim. And we're not even gonna be able to fiddle our singles out, which is always a problem. Uh, and then we're gonna have two or three more metal cases with slabs, vintage packs, uh, you know, games, anything we could fit in there. A little showcase of, the, of our singles. So every show, this box, you know, it's either really full or it's like it is now where it's rather empty. And there's some really good stuff in here, singles. Um, but normally on a good show, I would have, I would say 80% of this would be, should be full. I've had it most of the time, I was able to sustain it, but Collecticons, uh, a couple of Collecticons and the lack of buying big collections in the last two months, uh, it's, this is what it looks like, you know? Like, like, like you know, there's, there's great stuff in here, you know? First edition Blastoise, base set, you know? There's, uh, let's see, we could pull something. You know, we have a lot of SIRs, we have pretty good Jarzards. You know, we have like a whole mess of uh, rainbow tag teams, you know, there's great stuff in here. But again, for what we're used to, this is empty. Now, um, we do have a load of, bind a bunch of binders. So it's like eight or nine binders all themed that we bring. These are a lot of cheap stuff or back stock. If I have, you know, one or two or five of cards, uh, the extras go in here. So that way we don't clog up the singles case. But you know, there's art rares. We got the Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, just other starters. There's a Pikachu binder, there's an Evolutions binder, there's a Fallout Trainer binder. There's eight or nine different themes. That way, hey, do you have, uh, you know, Full Art Charizard? Yes, it's my, if it's not in the case, it's in this binder. So we don't have to go searching, oh, I don't know where it is. It's like, boom, bam, boom. You make the sale way quicker that way if you're really well organized. So we found great success for that. Now, one important thing that you can't see, but I have a tote over here call it the admin tote and it has everything you need as far as supplies so we got uh the pos system we have price price the price mat we have a, a binder which has the uh the qr code payment sheets um a printer we have a cash register this is all stuff uh, we bring to every show just to be prepared extra supplies top loaders uh, uh sleeves business cards you know anything i can think of we got scissors in there we got hand sanitizer we got I'm pretty sure I have snacks in there uh you know there's extra like small bills, ones, fives, and tens, denominations that I keep just in case because that's that's never fun. Oh, I forgot that. Anyways, uh, call the admin tote. It's super important, vital to business. Um, that's calling that always comes and it rarely changes. I just basically restock the supplies. That's pretty much it. And then you know charge the POS system. So these are the flat acrylic. Uh, at least some of them. Uh, flat, flat acrylic cases for the singles. We have like, like eight or eight or nine or ten of these that. Put all singles in there, it looks really nice, easy to get. Um, those are coming with us. And then these cases, uh, display cases. I'll bring, I only really need, I'm gonna bring three, but I likely will only need two. So a box for trades, important note, not any box, but a box that will fit singles and slabs comfortably and not like just jiggle everywhere. So I use the, uh, the, the slab one, the slab box, and then I'll put a little foam insert in there so the cards don't fall best box I've found as far as like trades. So you'll, this whole box will probably, at least half of it will be full by the end of the weekend as far as like trades and buys. Anything that comes to our table, you know, it's got the goods. Ponchos, vintage packs, pretty much anything like keep close to the chest kind of stuff. Um, but we got some cool stuff like Beep Beep, Gold Star Pikachu, Gold Star Latios, Gold Star Charizard, PSA 9, that's a big one. Uh, PSA 10, Gold Star Reggie Rock. Jewels on. Binders, can't forget the binder. Here's the iPad, which is essentially the POS system. Oop, so here's two things. I'm gonna bring these. These products, rather tough to sell and make a profit online. Reason? Shipping. Shipping, even the cheapest thing is gonna be a minimum of five, four or five bucks even something two ounces. Um, these are somewhere in the 10, 12 ounce range. So it's gonna cost six to eight bucks depending on where in the country it goes. At a price point of $15 on average, that's half of the price. So if 50% of what I bring in is fees, I mean, it's just, I'm sorry, it's, I don't have margins like that. Just fun fact, the actual 
biggest reason why I started card shows uh, years ago was to sell those kind of products. You know, we were running the online store and I was buying all, pretty much every any new product that came out and I slowly or quickly realized that those types of products like crap, like how am I gonna move these? Like you either have to wholesale them at break even or a loss or you, you know, I was like, oh, what about card shows? I could sell these other things and blah, blah, blah. and then it turned into this whole grandeur thing. But I, you know, the discovery was sell cheap stuff in person to avoid shipping and it solved the problem for the most part. I actually haven't even been bringing them to shows just because it's like, eh, I don't need to. You know, I have table space. Um, I think I'm going to bring these. These are all, the, you know, the 151 Mew, Mew 2 gold uh, promos. They look really good in the display case. They're cheap. They're 10 bucks. you know. Some, you know, I sell a couple. It's just extra room revenue. I don't really have a cost in these because I did take them out of the UPCs for the packs. The packs are gone. I have no 151 packs left. It's been very hard to keep in stock. So this is just kind of free money. It's probably 200, 200 bucks just chilling here. So I am gonna bring these. Just kind of looking around. I don't think I wanna bring much else. It's gonna be a simple show. Uh, I don't think we're gonna buy very much this weekend. I'm just managing the cash flow of the business right now. We have a lot of money out on the ponchos, which we haven't sold. Uh, we bought a, in Collecticon Houston about a month ago. Yeah, we probably dished out about 15, $16,000. And we only sold our total gross sales that weekend was I think $18,000, so uh, we're up too, but then, you know, flight, hotel, food, I mean, on paper, we, we lost about $6,000 that weekend, which is fine. We're gonna make it up after we make sales, so it's future sales, but in the moment, you know, the business is out, I don't know, it's somewhere in like the six to $7,000 range, plus all the other expenses, blah, 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 you know, anyways. These are the decisions I gotta make on the fly, you know, how much money do I have coming in? How much did I just spend? Do I have to wait? You know, da, da, da. decisions, you know, managing cash flow is very, super important, probably one of the most important concepts. That way you're not stuck needing money when a new set comes out and, oh, here's an $8,000 bill from your distributor. Well, sorry, I just bought a collection. Well, why'd you buy the collection? Well, it was, it was a great deal. Well, you, yeah, there's infinite opportunities out there. I've learned that much, but okay to say no sometimes all right i think that's it um we are gonna wrap this up get this all into the car we're gonna leave really early to point st lucy in the morning gotta be up about five to get on the road to two hour drive show starts at nine polish american club point st lucy may the 4th see you there